now Rajapaksa Gotabaya is in Maldives. There are protests which are taking place there. Is he going to be on his way now to uh, Singapore? Has Singapore accepted that they're going to give him asylum? Well, uh, the fact is that, Preeti, they are looking at various countries and options. Their options are quite limited. Uh, India certainly was not an option, as was reported earlier. We have uh, Tamil Nadu and the Tamil community in Sri Lanka to cater to and look at. And we know the past of the Rajapaksa. So India is certainly ruled out. Uh, what we're given to understand from the media in Maldives is that, yes, Gotabaya Rajapaksa and, the, and his wife, who was the former first lady, uh, are headed to Singapore, but there is no confirmation on whether if it is asylum or if it's temporary. We do know that his permanent uh, uh, last stop was supposed to be Dubai and that certainly has not happened. So a lot of confusion and they're just trying to work with whichever country they get uh, place in right mm -hmm. now because the Maldives and being there was becoming untenable. We saw right. uh, there are a lot of Sri Lankans there and protests are underway in the Maldives as well. You know Geeta, one would think that a very natural pick would be China right now. Well. Singapore is the closest they can get. If, it was, if they move to China, there is no returning. Mm -hmm. There is no returning not just for them, for their entire generations after generations, if they ever look at China, because that certainly would, uh, would be the last nail in the coffin for the Rajapaksas. Uh, but Singapore is as close as they can get, and in all probability, if, if Singapore agrees, it will be because of the conversations and right. the dealings that must have happened with Beijing involved as well. You think China would be involved? Because still now we have all the details of the tickets, where they're going to go, you know, the flights that they're going to take, but no confirmation from Singapore whether they are offering asylum or not. Well, again, there is no confirmation. Also, there is no pass that we can see where we connect, where we can mm -hmm. connect the Rajapaksa clan to uh, the, the, the family, the first family of Singapore. So there has to be some connection wherein, uh, and is the reason why they could really have gotten that space in Singapore and uh, uh, we know the influence China certainly has in Singapore. Uh, we, it's just, uh, we're just surmising, it's not a, a conclusive uh, uh, or a, con a confirmed news as of now. Uh, but then again, you know, the Maldives also, somewhere, around the, uh, somewhere down the line, Nasheed going and receiving uh, Rajapaksa, the closeness that you see between Nasheed and Rajapaksa and the relationship Rajapaksas have had with certain families and certain right. uh, political uh, uh, people here in India, could certainly have been one of the reasons why they were allowed to enter the Maldives. The mm -hmm. Maldives knew the cost of allowing the Rajapaksa family into their land.